our two most uh, speakers who are associated with mahasabha from long time one is dr professor dr prajit kumar palit from uh, assam university and another is dr anand kumar jain from banaras hindu university firstly i would like to request Dr Arihant Kumar Jain for Mangla Charan he is a editor of Prakrit Times International newsletter he, and he is assistant professor of department of genealogy and comparative religion and philosophy at Jain Vishwa Bharti Institute of Ladno well uh, ramo ji madam to all um, respected uh, babu ji and the convener of this uh, international webinar um, jokshi pawar ji and uh, secretary neetu ji uh, thank you so much uh, for giving me this opportunity to be associated with this uh, international webinar now i am presenting uh, mangala charan uh, jain saraswati mangala charan uh, in prakrit upanish language so kindly uh, join hands and just uh, remember saraswati mata nire gare nire sa pa ma ga ma ga du vi lankare ve puranti leela ko malai am i audible yes you are audible okay duvihalankare puranti leela ko malai paya e dinti mahatavali he lali sancharanti bahu bhav bhav bebham dharan thank you arihan kumar ji for this lovely and wonderful mangra charan uh, so before we start our today's talk i would like to invite our today's guest of honor firstly he doesn't need any introduction he is uh, the he is the 
most renowned uh, archaeologist he is our mentor he is none other than dr rakesh kumar rakesh tiwari sir sir welcome to our today's webinar and thank you for accepting our invitation tiwari sir can you hear me rakesh sir unmute your mic uh rakesh sir so we can't hear you unmute your mic sir please setting your mic rakesh sir can you hear us tiwari sir sir can you hear us yes sir thank you for yes. accepting our invitation and we are very honored to have you as a guest of honor so uh so we start our today's program so the first speaker of today's program is professor dr projit kumar palit he is a professor at department of history at assam university so before he starts his lecture i would like to give a short introduction about him he has been associated with mahasabha from very long time currently he is a professor at department of history at assam university silchar he is also a director at center for indological studies at assam university he is a visiting professor at department of business administration at assam university and in 2016 he has also organized a national seminar on jainism the jaina culture in eastern india at department of history at assam university so the topic of his today's talk is jaina heritage and trade routes a cultural linkage between ancient bengal and south east asian countries so over to you sir projit sir uh, okay i am actually audible madam yes sir hello i yes, am audible sir. yes sir oh. you are audible but we can't see you okay this that is also the problem uh, for uh, uh, something okay just i powerpoint presentation so that is no problem okay, okay. Uh, later on i can see uh. <clears throat> Uh, hello the powerpoint yes, comes yes uh, yes sir we okay. can see your we can see your presentation uh, sir acha uh, okay then thank you so i start <clears throat> namaskar everybody honorable uh, sri nirmal kumar jain president all india digamot jain heritage preservation organization new delhi honorable dr rakesh tiwari former dg archaeological survey of india respected a jain Jain uh, Vishwavati University, London. Respected Dr. Anand Kumar Jain, Varash Hindu University. Respected Jagshri uh, Jagshri Paul, a convener of the webinar. Respected Nitu Jain, the secretary of the Mahasabha. Dear participant, this is uh, my topic. Sorry, I am sorry for the interruption, but I think uh, uh, the audience can't hear you. Oh, hello. The no, sound is coming. Coming sound. Sir, Rakesh, uh, Rakesh sir, का शायद वो सुन नहीं पा रहे हैं. उनको problem आ रही है. Rakesh sir का mic on नहीं है. जो device पे starting पे होता है वो. Personally, Rakesh sir को सिर्फ audio नहीं जा रहा है. बाकी सब कुछ जा रहा है. Audio जा रहा है. बाबू जी, बाबू जी आपको आ रहा है? we are hearing him yes so i again start now i can start directly yes 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 sir please Madam. you can start sir oh okay 
so dear i again start first actually beginning now i just i start the topic okay madam everybody start the topic uh, no, topic topic okay 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 sir so this is my actually uh, topic uh, the uh, uh, this the uh, actually i uh, in my lectures i will be discussing the trade and trade routes join uh, join religion and join heritage and how the jainism extended to southeast asia from rajgir and who are the actually who are the supporting uh, the groups or individuals for expanding the joint culture to southeast asia actually what is the heritage the heritage is a legacy of tangible and intangible activities which inherent from the past to present and also to futures joint heritage also the link with the past to present and futures the trade play an important role to expand joint culture with india and also the southeast asia jaders supported jainism physically mentally and morally as they got the mentally and physically strength from the jain religion and jain culture that's why jain religion and trade the deeply linked each others the early 6th century bc to modern time also uh, the actually the joint heritage art the joint literature joint manuscript joint painting joint art and architecture joint religion festival joint culture food daily life rituals and joint uh, ecology and this is also the key figure uh, of uh, the key figure of the joint heritage the all uh, all are the uh, key figures the this also the key figure the manuscript heritage this is actually the uh, now the uh, uh, joint use the marks uh, from the uh, 5th century bce uh, the marks is not a new idea in india it is also the joint heritage which is the popular not only the india but also the whole world but we are use the marks uh, save for uh, actually myself or himself okay but uh, but the from the corner of hyras so joint people use the marks to save the lives of all insect so the different objective the use of marks so uh, we are use of marks for actually protect uh, protect himself joint people uh, use of marks to th- uh, box the is protect of the all living object that is the differentiated to the all other religion uh, to join religion and actually this is the starting point of the trade from local regional national and global uh, so actually basically the trade is moving occupation which the connected from home to world the main objective of the religion to bondage the people from home to world so trade and religion they uh, actually supported each other with the local area and also the global area and uh, this is also the another actually all the ancient trade route uh, the from, uh, from all these uh, actually uh, the trade routes from uh ancient areas the uh, actually just like a, you can see when the urbanizations uh, also they started uh, the 6th century bce they still uh, actually um, there are a lot of uh, uh, trade uh, trade routes in just map uh, and also the uh, some of the routes also existent still now and also the identity some of the trade route we also the identification mostly uh, south east is a connected route from the rajgir Uh, this is also my work and i also the published uh, two three papers on the base so this is important actually things the chandragupta was first to introduced to join religion to break and others uh, foreign trades they join monks and traders with the state support uh, to expand the joint culture to greek and south east asia uh, this is the first time they introducing the uh, outside of the joint cu- uh, culture and uh, introduced by the chandragupta maurya and this is also the actually uh, 
this is the most important map which the help us to understand understand how to connect it, the india with greek and southeast asia country through the trade route and um, in the modian period you can see uh, this is also the 19th century actually uh, road uh, from barma the uh, photographs i collected from the archives this is also the uh, connection from barma uh, barma to assam the british uh, uh, government the controlled by the barma uh, from uh, controlled the barma the administrative and trade and all these things from assam through the trade route this trade route also uh, uh, now developed the government of india and myanmar so that is also connected to the southeast asia uh, road they look it to east this is also basic one on on the basic route so we are actually talking about the trade but the trade also the link with the tra trade goods the in ancient times to modern times also the we are lot of basic trade, trade uh, actually items we are uh, exported uh, there also the uh, fast things also you can see the spices the this is also the most important actually items and still now they are also the so popular uh, in europe and also the south eastern countries and uh, the gold and ivory that is also the cotton so still now the cotton also the most important items in uh, world and uh, the earlier times also the horpon times to uh, actually the later times the very evidences we can got a lot of evidences about the cottons and cotton goods so the rice and wheat so we are imported the horses but we are exported the elephant uh, in the from northeast and as we imported the actually silk and this is also with the another actually uh, important uh, route in important map so which are the actually you can understand the how to the monsoon and weather they control the trade uh, control the trade the um, actually the everybody actually uh, every traders also the so serious about the uh, the monsoons and the winter season the november to february november to february traders they leave to india to other countries and they return from uh, to summer season the april to september to india that is also the follows the very times Uh, many times, uh, many times uh, trade and other things, and you can see uh, this uh, the another map which is the identi uh, identify the various many times trade routes uh, which are the popular uh, uh, actually popular uh, the popular that times and uh, the popular that times and also uh, this route uh, this is also the various names and uh, like that times there is also the Uh, uh the many uh, many trade groups we can uh, many references literary references and also the uh, the literary references the they mention the names the spices route and also northeast uh, uh, monsoon route and also the uh, southeast monsoon route so this that is the actually routes they uses all this they uses in that times and this also the you can see the just uh, uh, the uh, all our spices this as well this most important and uh, that is also most popular uh, goods in uh, popular items in uh, southeast asia and in east asia not only that the still now uh, that are also the very important goods and all for that there in in la all these things all these goods the all the spices also the most popular in uh, europe till now actually this is actually most important slide for you can understand how to the link with the arakan to eastern india that also the joint culture and joint heritage that are transmitted from uh, kundalpur to rajgir to southeast asia through the two types of the trade routes the one the maritime trade routes another the land routes the, from rajgir the you know the actually uh, mohavid he visited uh, 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 actually from rajgir the mohavid came to the uh, rar regions uh, the lot of the literatures uh, uh, we can support it later i need to discuss the uh, actually rar region he propagated uh, the joint religion in rar that is also before modian period and after that this uh, also the uh, surya pahar and this is also the ancient kamrup and ancient kamrup to link with the varindo and presently bangladesh and after that this actually the link with the arakan i can discuss the all these things how to the rajgir rar region surya pahar and varindo and arakan that's the link 
adds a lot of archaeological re references, archaeological actually remains and uh, sculptures, temples we are uh, we are got from uh, that trade route and that areas. Uh, the actually the first century BCE, the traders and Jain monk and the Jain people from the ancient Bengal, basically Rajki, to travel through the both the trade routes and they reach the different part of the Southeast Asia. They use the probably the land route through the Ra region, Kamrup Hills, Chittagang Hill Track, Arakan Hills, the one routes, and another uh, another routes is actually the Ra region, uh, the Paharpur Hills, the Kachar Valleys, Surma Valleys, Rusa Hills, and Arakan Hills. Uh, and the second thing is there, so there are also the, the two uh, the two routes were linked, the that two routes were linked to the western province of Burma and southeastern province of the China. Uh, it is presumed that the many Jain monks were traveled from Bundavardhan, that is, it was actually we are identified the Bundavardhan, maybe the Bundavardhan, and Balu, maybe it was identi uh, actually identified, maybe it was actually uh, Pegu, uh, Rakhan, maybe uh, it was Arakan and Bakan, maybe it was Bakan. We are supported only for our literary sources, various literary sources, and we can identify. A lot of joint centers were developed in this trade route from the 1st century BCE to 13th century uh, CE. The, that the joint culture, the actually uh, non-violence values and vegetarian foods and others, uh, the other cultures, the transmitted uh, to Rar region and Kamru region Borindu region and Chittagang area and the Arakan area and to Bihar. That is also the most important. And the, as it is actually uh, in lot of art and architectures are found uh, in two trade routes. Uh, this areas. Uh, this is also the you can everybody knows the uh, Sole Hundred Cave. The it, uh, the two uh, Jain caves are located in Rajgir. It belonged to the third century, uh, third and fourth century CE. Uh, dedicated inscription found in largest cave, which the Gupta period of fourth century CE. And but it uh, and uh, and another cave that is also the uh, that is also the Barbara caves, the, the third century BCE, which is the first uh, artificial cave in India. Uh, and that times you can see oh. the joint people, the joint architectures. Are you joint about the seminar? Webinar 530. Uh, uh, they actually, huh? uh, their, their artificial, uh, their actually technique is known how to the, uh, 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 the uh, cave, the artificial cave make, uh, making uh, uh, technique, they are actually known. And the uh, lot of actually sculptures, joint sculptures, uh, we, uh, we are actually getting the second cave the all the sculptures, the Mauryan polis and uh, the Mauryan iconography. This is also the you can see the uh, the most important heritage site of Assam, present Assam, the ancient Kamru. That is called the Surcho Pahar. The Surcho Pahar and uh, the remains also be the, this also the uh, center. The actually, actually the Surcho Pahar, the tragic location in in northeast India. That is also linked with the uh, Ra regions and also the link with the Arakan regions. And also the that's why the not only the joint joint traders, but also the Brahmanical traders, but the Hindu traders and Buddhist traders, they are also the supported and investment uh, to establish their actually monastery, temples, and uh, 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 all these things. So the all the archaeological remains we can uh, we can justify the how to the importance of the Sucho Pahar the uh, actually first century BCE to uh, actually 13th century, 12th century CE, the long time uh, these uh, actually actives of the uh, that part. The, we are not actually, uh, uh, the study is more more accuracy is required, but we don't study uh, that way. And so the, uh, the supervisor studies all that. So if you study the deeply, so a so lot of information we get in and features. So the actually Surya Pahar is an important joint center in not only the Assams, uh, but also the Northeast India, but uh, this is also the actually uh, Buddhist and joint uh, uh, Buddhist and Brahmanical center also. 
It is located 80 kilometers uh, from the Guwahati. The Buddhist culture began the first century BCE in Sushrupaha, but the Jain and uh, Brahmanical culture were found from the 9th century to the 12th century. The several monastery and a temple were constructed in that period. The Sushrupaha is a actually uh, we are mixed cultures the, from the uh, from the Brahmanical and Buddhist and also also the uh, Jain religion. And also the there also the local as uh, local culture also assimilated and we are reflection reflection the many uh, archaeological remains that, that are also reflected we can see. And uh, this is also the actually uh, the natural cave is we uh, natural cave is found in Sutra Pahar, uh, which made with the uh, pile stone. The lot of joint inscription, various sculptures and rock carving uh, are found in Surya Pahar. Uh, this is also the uh, Rishivanath. Uh, uh, the, uh, it is belong to the 9th century uh, uh, CE. Uh, it is also the Neminath and Rishivanath. Uh, that is also uh, actually rock cut, uh, the carving, the, and, and it is belong to the uh, 9th century, uh, to uh, 9th century and also the some uh, identification of the 12th century also. This is also the actually the stupo. The stupo, the identification, the stupo, they actually it is belong to the uh, 10th century C. So uh, that is actually uh, we are come to the the interesting part, uh, part that is also rad regions. The Mohammed uh, came uh, uh, to uh, the Acharanga Sutras and Acharanga Sutra we know that the Mohammed came to uh, ancient Bengal. Uh, to Rad region through the two division known as Vajrabhumi and Shukpabhumi. Uh, and the Mohammed propagated Jainism in the Rad region. And that time, the actually Rad also the dominated the uh, dominated uh, Jain cultures. And uh, the traders also they supported and the use of the uh, trade route. And also, the, you can see the Rad region, basically the Bakura, Birhum, uh, the Bordhavan, uh, Mendipur and Purulia districts. Uh, the actually this they do that that area. I can also that to project in '94 when I was the first the postgraduate. Yeah, I can study only for Bakura district. But the, the, the that is also the place. The now also living Jainism also be there in Purulia the Sarau uh, communities. And not only that, the huge uh, Jain. Uh, temples, architecture, um, art and architecture, sculptures, they are also the damaging in uh, many ways. Uh, uh, the, uh, our Nirmal Jain uh, uh, visited a lot of places also that, uh, that part. The, this is also the, you can see the, uh, the maps, these maps also the most important maps and uh, the RAR, uh, how to the RAR to connect it the Pundavardhano, uh, actually Pundavardhano and Horikelo, uh, that's also we can various names and various uh, actually cultures developed the uh, many times the 8th century, 7th century, to 8th century to up to the uh, 12th century. And this is also the connected the RAR past the to come to, come to the uh, uh, the traders and uh, monk, uh, they come from the uh, Rajivs, and that is to that part the and. And there are also the uh, Rad region, the Rad region, the Bhaivan uh, Jain cultures, and that also the transmitted the Pundavardhano and Varikelo, or uh, we can talking about the present Bangladesh. Okay, and that actually uh, that areas. Uh, this is also the you can see the Rishabo, uh, the damaging, and it is uh, actually Bakura districts, and uh, uh, this it is uh, belong to the uh, 11th centuries. <coughs> They actually uh, these sculptures uh, of Gino, uh, the Vishnupur Museum, the uh, Vishnupur Museum of West Bengal, and it is belong to the 10th century. It is actually uh, a very uh, uh, sophisticated uh, uh, specimens. Uh, specimen. Mostly uh, they are uh, you uh, in, uh, actually uh, there is very you can uh, if you study the many iconographical study will comes uh, that actually is, uh, sculptures. Uh, this is the very interesting actually uh, sculptures. Uh, uh, maybe Nirmal Jain also the visited that place actually in Bakula, and uh, this is belong to the 11th century. Uh, Rishivanath, the 
actually you can see the two uh, hand this hand and this hand there are also later times the incorporate and uh, the mallo bhumi uh, the mallo dynasty the mallo kings they are belong to the vishnu uh, museum so they made this actually deities uh, the vishnu and still now uh, still now uh, actually when i was visited in 94 to uh, 96 that time my work at that time i saw this this deity was worshiped as a vishnu god so uh, this is also the, uh, the lot of actually i i have a lot of architects actually sculptures these types of the sculptures uh, some sculptures the made uh, as a monosha uh, the lo local uh, uh, monosha and others uh, actually deities there is also with a lot of joints uh, uh, actually the deities uh, so they converted the many uh, hindu gods and goddesses brahmanical gods and goddesses so uh, uh, it is actually um, uh, knows uh, the mahasabha also and we can come the actually another important part uh, in my lectures that is also the actually we can talk this is also the you can see uh, the varanda bhumi and also the uh, that place the uh, uh, actually Uh, this place also the uh, present the two part bangladesh and also the north bengal north bengal this is also the actually malda uh, and uh, dinajpur uh, all are there so this is also uh, the rajshahi and this is the place this place most important actually place for uh, joint culture uh, uh, join uh, uh, cultures to link with the uh, south east asia arakans actually uh, the we are talking the most of the talking the actually we are discussing the rat region but nobody investigation uh, actually deep investigation the unstored or uh, unexplored areas uh, that this bottom uh, the bhumi and that part because uh, there is no serious work i i searched the uh, i i work on uh, 98 to 2001 i did a field survey the various uh, places rasai bahadpur kumilla chatogram and dhaka and that places and uh, i can uh, search the uh, many evidences we can got the many evidences but uh, there is the less paper we can uh, i got the paper also but the, the less paper uh, in, in that areas on join cultures and joinism Uh, the actually uh, the we are uh, uh, the two segment we can divide it that part the two segment for the early phase they started the p modern period to the uh, to the 8th century c second phase also the actually uh, the 13th century uh, c uh, th this is also there the this most important uh, things uh, uh, we are literary sources the lot of literary sources there are also the uh, horishan and the horishan uh, he mentioned the bhadrabahu was the born uh, at devi kotha uh, in north bengal the bhadrabahu was the grandfather of the ashoka um, um, ashoka king the and devi kotha now they identified the modern bangor bangor also the excavated by the archaeological survey of india and it is also the well doc uh, documented i visited these places also so it is presumed that the joint tradition in 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 this area from the modern period uh, the first century bce and also the, uh, the according to the kalpa sutra the according to the uh, the kalpa sutra there are also the another important uh, references we can getting the uh, the bhadrabahu kalpa sutra they actually mention that the bhadrabahu established a school the name was uh, the godashona uh, godasho gona godasho gona the that is also important school a uh, joint school and uh, it was divided the four branch which are tamolipika kartopo borisha uh, punnavardhana and koravatiya so the we are identify uh, the most of the places uh, most of the actually places the tamolipika uh, everybody knows the uh, tamolipto that port the ancient port in bengal now the tomluk bendipur districts and Uh, actually one place we are not identify uh, so anybody actually you can help us uh, so the koravatiya has not the identify but the kotto borisha uh, we are presume that this was the borisha uh, uh, bangladesh and pundavardhan also the this place and uh, you know this uh, actually this place 
the Rasai area and Bangladesh. So uh, this is also the you can see uh, the, uh, the uh, actually a lot of literary sources supported uh, the uh, what uh, actually the ancient part of these areas uh, out of the Bangladesh present Bangladesh the dominating uh, the uh, joint cultures uh, and Jainism. The, the, you can see these actually uh, slides. Uh, uh, this uh, actually uh, the in Bengal, ancient Bengal, the Lanchana, uh, uh, bull lion. Uh, this is also belong to the eighth uh, century. Uh, this also the belong to the eighth uh, century C. And you can see this actually uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, sculptures. The Rishabh sculpture. We got from the village, uh, they, it is uh, actually found from uh, the village Surhar, Rasai district. It is now the Bodendur Research Center, the University of Rasai, uh, uh, Rasai and uh, Bangladesh. The pedestal of the sculpture is depicted the 18 spoke chaklo and pair of the lion's wool and lanchola. It is belong to the 9th century C. <laughs> This is also the same actually uh, sculptures, uh, the same image, but these are very sophisticated. You can see the very sophisticated, and that's why I, I actually uh, I, I actually another slide I can make the another slide how to the actually sophisticated uh, uh, sculptures uh, uh, so sculptures and that that times. Uh, this is also the actually private collections. Uh, the, it is maybe. Uh, the collection from the North Bengal. Uh, the uh, this collection I, I I got the photograph from my friends and this is the USA based uh, one person the private collection also with there. It is uh, belong to the uh, 10th century C. Uh, this is the interesting one uh, sculptures. Uh, uh, this uh, Rishabhanath image was found a ruined Muslim darga uh, Sadipur Malda. Uh, it is now the Malda museums. The Muslim people was recutting and engraved the Arabic inscription in backside of this actually uh, uh, the uh, deities, and uh, it was it was broken uh, two pieces. Uh, it is belong to the 10th uh, century uh, C. Uh, this is also the Rishabh image from Itahar Police Station. Uh, now also the Itahar Police Station also be there, and uh, the Uttar Dinajpur West Bengal. Uh, it is belong to the uh, 11th century uh, C. The various types of the Lanchana image and bull on the bull, the wheel of the uh, Rishabhanath, uh, actually it is the Borondo Research Center, the Borondo Research Center. It is actually uh, belong to the 8th century uh, C. And uh, the Rishabha image uh, from the Mandona uh, Bangladesh, the Mandona village, uh, the Bangladesh, now it is actually West Bengal Asutosh Museum, Calcutta. Uh, it is highly quality craftsmanship. Uh, it is belong to the 9th century C. It is very interesting and uh, sophisticated. Actually, uh, you can visit the Asutosh Museum uh, that also be uh, there uh, in uh, sections, uh, joints uh, sections. Uh, also, the, there are also the some uh, others uh, sculptures also be there. You can see this. This is the interesting, unique. Actually, image Navagar, the four proper, uh, uh, the left and five proper of the right, but the addition of the goddess. This is the interesting actually things. The goddess is actually uncommon uh, of the joint uh, joint cultures and joint links. We can getting these things from uh, our study. Uh, uh, this is also you can see it was found from Behula, uh, the village of Behula, and it is now the Dinaspur Museum, Bangladesh. The image actually has uh, 24 miniatures, uh, Gino, uh, the 12 Gino armed actually arranged, the 12 Gino arranged the east side. It is belong to the 8th century C. Uh, this is also the Chanto Parvati Thankar image, the Bebula image. Uh, the, uh, actually, uh, the uh, Chanto Parvati Thankar image, uh, the, the Bebula image and this image mostly same groups. And also, we can actually study and comparative study also with there. My one paper also the best of two uh, two sculptures. And also the uh, actually this is also rare uh, collections. 
uh, rare collection of the uh, the uh, these things and it is belong to the uh, 9th century uh, ce you can see the pedestal of the same uh, uh, image and the this also the you can see the how to the sophisticated uh, uh, engraved the all these things the we are actually uh, the this the santi uh, santinath image was found for pehula uh, now uh, it is the rasai museum uh, it, it is the belong to the 8th century the pehula i i visited the pehula there was a muslim community uh, also be there but that uh, their culturally uh, uh, if you study the cultural base there's mostly they uh, mostly they are actually joined because uh, i asked uh, many people uh, and uh, and they are uh, interesting uh, the non violence approach this approach is also still the non violence and some names also the muslim names that also names also linked with the uh, joint title the sheikh and other things also be there so uh, this is the another type of the studies required on on, on bebula uh this is also uh, actually forest not uh, the forest not from dinashpur museum uh, it is actually belong to the 9th century uh, uh, it is belong to the 9th century c uh, this is the same actually image uh, slide the back side of the highly decorated with the dipal and many types of uh, uh, and bahanos so you can see the uh, how i actually uh, sophisticated words and uh, castrancip and uh, actually uh, why uh, i i talking about that because huge investment also required it is actually traders we are not getting any uh, uh, actually uh, king supported but uh, i i assume that there are also local kings all uh, group of traders a uh, group of joint traders they are actually supported uh, the craftsmen uh, uh, and also the monks joint monks they are actually uh, they developed and Uh, the this type of the sculptures they made and this is required for financial support is required without trade the traders or uh, actually local uh, uh, local kings it is not possible uh, maybe the behula and other places there are also the uh, the group of joint traders uh, actually rich joint traders also be there uh this is also the actually uh, the uh, asian art cultures of the san francisco Uh, uh this is also the forestnut and uh, this it is also the bengal uh, uh, the collection and uh, the uh, collection uh, the collected from that places you can uh, actually this is also very sophisticated uh, joint uh, cultures uh this is the jokhini uh, ambika from the north bengal university museum uh, uh, this is also the a very uh, rare specimens and very sophisticated specimen it is belong to the 10th century c the uh, actually jiagond museums uh, the uh, these uh, this all these things these jiagond museums uh, uh, the is the interesting things also the uh, nath devi nath devi stand on uh, the genos uh, it is belong to the 8th century c this is also interesting uh, this uh, iconography iconographical uh, interesting sculptures this is the forest forest north and uh, the forest north the noida noida museums and uh, nauda museums actually in bangladesh uh, it is belong to the uh, uh, actually it is belong to the 9th century uh, c the this is also the very interesting uh, actually uh, tetelary uh, the joint couples the tetelary deities uh, deities of the sikha dano devata that is also actually we can uh, know uh, uh, sanskrit text and also the prakrit text and joint text there are also the deities very important deities and uh, it, it is actually uh, found from devpara this deity actually uh, who is the guardian and also the protectors of the particular place and cultures and uh, actually uh, this is most important that's why i can uh, i know i i i actually presume that the that place also the uh, dominated by the joint cultures because the So where the sikha dano devata uh, found means that the they they are that they are also the they are uh, establish this actually this uh, goddesses or worship uh, because that the, the culture they are uh, need to protect their cultures so uh, these areas they and this now in borendra research center uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, Rasai University in Rasai. The, you can see the another uh, actually uh, couples. Uh, it was found the Govinda Ganj. And now uh, it is the National Museum in Dhaka. Um, and this is also the same thing, the Govinda Ganj. The, and the, the Ganj and also the, they are also the rich. Now also uh, earlier times are trading centers. Uh, it, it was found for Depora. Now it is the missing. The earlier uh, actually uh, it was uh, it was uh, to Rasai National uh, Museum. Uh, sorry, uh, go, uh, the uh, research sorry the Borindo Research Center museums. Okay, uh, and now actually I got the uh, curator the photographs. And uh, it is actually uh, Balurkat Balurkat College museums. Uh, the uh, this is also the actually. Uh, Kushimuddini uh, and uh, South Dinajpur. Uh, uh, it is belong, uh, it is belong to the eight, uh, actually 10th century C. Uh, this is the Chomukho Itagar Police Station, Uttra uh, Uttar Dinajpur. Uh, this it is belong to the uh, 8th century C. The now I come to the actually uh, the Mandalay and uh, South Asia. I visited Mandalay and many places. Uh, for the study of a Buddhist and uh, I actually basically studied on Buddhist Buddhism, but uh, I can I can got uh, my friends help me. Uh, I in uh, actually Mandalay uh, Mandalay Airport. The the uh, from distance of 50 kilometers. The the place name is Lokko. Uh, that areas I I I I got this actually I I saw this uh, the uh, uh, sculptures. And it is worshipped as local god, name as the local god. Uh, it may be uh, actually, uh, it is maybe, it, is, it may be a Rishabhatik uh, god. It may be the 8th century uh, C. Uh, that is also my uh, um, presumes. But it is required study. And I just, uh, ten, uh, I, uh, one hour, I can visit that area because this is my friend house. And just I, uh, before, uh, uh taking uh, uh airport i going to the airport that i go there and that's also be very interesting references and in that place it is now the loco area they uh, actually got the damaging actually uh, deep thinkers and uh, this is also the actually it is required the huge studies in, in that burma and uh, myanmar and these areas uh, actually um, so the we are explored the many uh, 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 many art and architectures, uh, many art and arch actually sculpture the museum, the, all the museums are also not actually time is very short. So I not incorporate uh, many uh, actually Burmese, uh, actually I got from the Rangoon Museum, two, three specimens I not incorporate. So uh, I just the conclusion remarks, what my conclusion remarks actually, they all these actually, uh, the uh, artifacts and uh, remains, archaeological remains and sculptures. Uh, the why uh, actually uh, the, the huge showing cultures. Uh, the who are the supporter, uh, the financial supporter. That we are not still now any specification king or uh, dynasty. They support these joint cultures. The earlier times so we can say the Mauryan Mauryan and Chandragupta, but after that we can resume that. Uh, the local kings, local Gupta kings, or the Boyna Gupta and others local kings in in that part because the in uh, the uh, in Borodinda Bhumi and rare area, the local all these actually uh, trader groups, the mostly the trader groups, they are uh, supporting. Why the trader groups supporting? Because the journey times, the traders they took the shelter to join temples and the monastery for uh, what? For uh, actually for safety and good food, and also the practicing in their personal spiritual life. They actually, uh, I think, uh, they all these actually joint temple, all the center, joint center, uh, they played uh, play an important role, just like a hotel, hotel, uh, the now or dharmasala, the earlier time. So the and not only the joint uh, actually joint traders, but also the actually uh, Buddhist and Brahminical traders also they invested in the same things. So we can go to many places. They join with the Brahminical and also uh, the Buddhist culture, Buddhist actually uh, sculptures, archaeological remains also be there. For example, in uh, actually in Kamrupur, uh, this is also be there, the Surjapa. So uh, 
uh, this is actually requirement uh, required the in depth studies because this is also the huge uh, just i can uh, this is not a, a one slide also the one paper but it is required the in depth studies just i can uh, 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 I, I support from uh, your many comments uh, because this comment is more important for any lectures thank you Thank you so much, Projit, sir, for giving us such a wonderful and informative lecture. And now I would like to uh, request everyone, if you have any, if anyone has a question to ask, please, you can ask to Projit, sir. Yes, Bhakchanji, you want to ask? Sir, unmute your mic. So we can't hear you. Hello, can I say something? Can I say something? Yes, of course, sir, please. Yeah. So let me first express my gratitude towards uh, Sri Pujit Kumar, who has given a very nice and informative uh, lecture information. And uh, he yes. covered all the uh, cities like uh, ancient cities, Rajgir, Raj, Suripahar, Arakan, Son, Mandar, Gupa. Not only this, but Dinajpur, it appears that Dinajpur is its main uh, center, uh, perhaps uh, uh, regarding Jain uh, antiquities. And uh, uh, he has also given some uh, uh, information uh, gathered from Mandalay, Myanmar. Mm -hmm. So the whole lecture covered a lot of information regarding Jain antiquity, particularly trade uh, routes. So now, one thing I would like to get the information from uh, uh, Professor uh, um, uh, what? Uh, Pali. 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 Yes. Yeah. Now, you, uh, you inform that Dinaj, in Dinajpur are close to Dinajpur. You, you got uh, the Mm, uh, one Ganesh statue. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, whether it is uh, uh, it is inscribed uh, in uh, Jain uh, art architecture or it is independent or what type of it. And if it is an independent, it has no connection with uh, Jain uh, art architecture. Then what is the period of that Ganesh included in Jain fort? So, uh, uh, if you can give the information a bit, uh, I shall be highly obliged to you. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank so you. much. Very, very, very informative uh, this yes. lecture. Yes. And I vote to you. Any other so question? Madam? Yes. Yes, I want to ask. I want to ask. So, can you please introduce yourself first? I am Professor I.P. Jain from Emeritus Professor in Rajasthan University, Jaipur. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Please ask. Yes. My question is this. Everything is good about all this uh, architecture and Jain sculptures and all that. But what is particular about uh, business? You, your talk is connecting with the Jain business. You have not mentioned anything about Jain business except that all architects. Can you explain? Yes, sir. Any other question? I want to say, you, you mentioned in your talk, Jain. No, okay, okay. Now, madam, I can give the answer, each answer, or actually I collected all the questions and then I give the answers. So whatever you like. So if you want to uh, give your answers uh, at a combined level, you can. No, no, okay, you okay. First question, uh, actually, uh, uh, this is also the Navagar, uh, the, uh, actually Ganesh. Uh, this is also uh, actually we are not in depth studies because these uh, also we can collect uh, the uh, uh, all this sculpture with the Tithankar uh, also be there the site and it is incorporate that place or not uh, incorporate with the Jain uh, sculptures or not that also the studies required that's why I as I show the putting this uh, actually slide 
because the god is how to the connection where the connection that you are using there are also be my question also be there i have not read really detailed studies all that okay. but this this uh, the second things also the second questions uh, actually what i my topic is there my topic is actually join heritage and actually ted root how to the ted root the earliest times and uh, the uh, uh, which are the uh, join uh, uh, traders so who are the supporting uh, actually uh, 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 the uh, uh, join centers uh, that places actually now it is not that they have to trade and other thing the trade history is different because the trade history we are not getting the all uh, we are presume that the uh, that also the the trade items that also the uh, trading from barma because we know the barma they we are getting the uh, uh, literary sources they use uh, the barma rice uh, they exported uh, that time from uh, mauryan uh, mauryan and spartan put to and the nalonda uh, uh, nalonda university they are sending and the indonesia also uh, the present indonesia that times uh, the actually use uh, the rice it was also the donated to the uh, sompur mobias so uh, we are actually this is uh, uh, we are, uh, actually this said the presenting the papers uh, if with the trade and uh, trade routes there's the another uh, actually you can give the chance i can give the another lectures Okay. Uh, I think Bhagwan Ji wants to say something, sir. Uh, unmute your mic, sir. Sir, Bhagwan Ji, we can't hear you. Sir, we are not able to 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 hear you. should make a request to him uh, to submit the papers is valued paper to the office so that that could be circulated among the all members and uh, because uh, it's a very very important and yes. uh, important uh, regarding uh, jain art and architecture and sculpture so he should be requested to submit the paper and that paper should be distributed to all the members uh, this is my request humble request Uh, to uh, professor uh, palit palit if it is done okay. it's well and good no okay i i given uh, i am not it is not a request the request i also give because i am very young <laughs> junior scholar okay so your support is required so i can give that is no problem so thanks a lot thank very ji uh, rajkumar sethi ji kuch puchna chahte hain aapse unhone unhone apna hath hand raise kiya hai ji raj uh, rajkumar sethi ji जी सर पालित सर आपसे मेरी मुलाकात हुई थी विष्णुपुर में मैं आपसे ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि आसाम के अंदर में नुमलीगढ़ के अंदर में जो देवी की प्रतिमा है एवं भोन पहाड़ पर जो प्रतिमा है इसके अलावा परशुराम कुंड में जो यक्ष यक्षिणी की प्रतिमाएं हैं वे क्या जैन प्रतिमाएं हैं क्या इसके बारे में जरा सा आप हमें स्पष्टीकरण करने की कृपा करें Actually, sir, I have not incorporated uh, actually that types of the uh, articles uh, remains because the now the Kamrupo uh, for um, the Nilachal Pahar uh, there also the we have three identification uh, this sculpture joint sculpture but that is also the debatable because the Rakesh sir is there so <laughs> he is a lot of expert. so i can just whatever we i accuracy and museum related that also we i uh, actually presented this uh, paper because uh, this is also the uh, sir is required the study iconography study the i i visited the bone part with subo majumdar the subo also be the work on that times and uh, uh, there also the actually nilachal pahar uh, 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 this is also linked of the joint uh, joint cultures and yeah i agree with you but it is required uh, to another lectures but the not only that places but sir the huge uh, place also be there if you study if you require the study the buddhism the buddhist people they are lot of study the lot of project and ugc and other things uh, but uh, if the join uh, if you any uh, uh, the project 
to notice so they are talking about there is no actually archaeological references is there so how to the uh, this type of project you can uh, do uh, the, this is also the questionable uh, so it is also the problems of uh, the scholar young scholars so they were not encouraging because the buddhist center huge center also be there in in that places sir okay sir i i i very happy to meet you sir <laughs> because uh, now uh, we have a, you have good uh, chill organization in vishnupur vishnupur yes bahut bahut dhanyawad aapko meri bhavna hai ek baar parshuram kund mein jo murtiyan hai numligarh ki jo murtiyan hai uske bare mein hamara archaeologist ja kar ke direction kare और हमें पता चले कि वो जैन मूर्तियां हैं या नहीं इसके बारे में आप अगर मार्गदर्शन देंगे तो बहुत अच्छा होगा सर ये सेमिनार होगा तो आई कैन डू ओके आई हैव ए डाटा बिकॉज़ नाउ वी कैन ओनली फॉर दैट एक्चुअली आई इंटरनेशनल सो वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग एनी एक्चुअली व्हाट इज डिस्प्यूट एंड अदर थिंग्स वॉट आर बी एक्चुअली म्यूजियम आई कैन दैट ऑल्सो दैट सम पार्ट ऑल्सो दी आई कैन Uh, put that is also my paper also they publish the uh, uh, the uh, British archaeological review and other places that's also I can incorporate sir this is a trade route this trade route also then uh, and this not this uh, the trade route how to the inter inter connections sir अगले हफ्ते में एक बेबदार करने जा रहे हैं उसके अंदर में मैं आपको बुलाना चाहूँगा तो अगर आप समय हो तो दीजिएगा 25 दिसंबर के पहले हम करना चाहते हैं एक तो उसके अंदर में आपको इस विषय के अंदर में जो भी जानकारी है प्रदान करने की कृपा कीजिएगा ठीक है सर ओके सर ठीक विजय जैन जी आल्सो वांट्स टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन ही हैज रेज्ड हिज हैंड विजय जैन जी नो टाइम नेक्स्ट स्पीकर प्लीज ओके ओके सो I would like to invite our next speaker. He is Dr. Anand Kumar Jain. So before he starts his lecture, I would like to give a short introduction about him. He is a he is an assistant professor at Department of Jaina Buddha Darshan at Faculty of Sanskrit Vidya Dharma Vigyan at Banaras Hindu University. He has done his PhD from Banaras Hindu University and uh, Ampel. from Je again from jain vishwa bharati university in indian western philosophy and logic he has done his ma acharya in tulatmak darshan again uh, one more ma acharya in prakrit and he has three degrees in ma acharya uh, and the third is in buddha darshan and in 2019 when we have conducted a course summer course on jainism he was also part of the visiting faculty and he has given his classes on jainism so i would like to invite dr anand kumar jain to give his lecture on jainism in rajasthan over to you sir can you hear me yes yes sir pranamo arhantaram pranamo siddhalam namo ayariyaram रेस्पेक्टेड सेठी जी सर फ्रॉम महासभा गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर आर के तिवारी सर माय टीचर प्रोफेसर भागचंदी भास्कर सर स्पीकर प्रोजीत सर एंड कन्वीनर जोगश्री जी एंड सेक्रेटरी नीतू जी एंड ऑल द डिग्निटीज स्कॉलर सर And my topic is uh, uh, Jainism in Rajasthan. So I think uh, there is a lot of matter to um, speak about this topic. Uh, but uh, I am actually a student of uh, philosophy, so my focus is total on the topic uh, in a philosophical way, uh, by which uh, I can get uh, uh, the ideas. What is the reason? What is the uh, Uh, what are the ca causes of uh, uh, spreading of jainism in rajasthan so i think the nature of uh, rajasthan 
we should consider over this. The nature of uh, Rajasthan, the people of Rajasthan, where I lived uh, 16, 17 years. So we can say the people are very mild, we are very helpful, and they are very friendly. So not this time uh, we can uh, see in the history that they are very uh, helpful to the people time by time. And uh, uh, when we discuss about the nature of uh, Jain or Jainism, so we find all these things also in Jainism. So we can say the uh, nature of Rajasthan and the nature of uh, Jainism are actually correlated to each other and uh, they both influence also each other. And uh, uh, if we talk about the uh, earliness uh, or the uh, what is the starting point of Jainism uh, in Rajasthan, so I think there is no answer because uh, uh, Rajasthan uh, is the concept of a new uh, era and uh, we are uh, living in this uh, time so we understand uh, we are understanding that uh, uh, Jainism and Rajasthan are, are correlated with uh, this uh, time and but uh, actually it is uh, that uh, the Jainism has a deep uh, root in Rajasthan so uh, Rajasthan get a uh, very much from uh, so many things from Jainism and Jainism also uh, so get so many things, uh, so many quality, qualities from uh, Rajasthan. So the enlightenment uh, uh, is given by Jain uh, Jainism to Rajasthan and uh, enrichment, they enrich uh, also Rajasthani culture. So new thoughts uh, and uh, many ang angles of uh, way of thinking is also presented by Jain scholars time to time. So uh, all the things are related to each other. So I think uh, Jainism is a most important factor in uh, Rajasthan by which uh, Rajasthans get uh, so many uh, points. Uh, later we will discuss over it. And uh, according to uh, Shwetamba text, we can say that uh, um, there is a one visit of uh, one or more visit of uh, Mah Lord Mahavir to uh, Rajasthan, uh, and uh, but what is the present situation uh, that is also discussed uh, uh, that will also be discussed here, uh, because uh, the present situation of uh, Jainism in Rajasthan is also very good, but uh, uh, it was also good in earlier time. So we can say that. Uh, Jainism has a, 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 a point by which uh, they get all the things. And uh, uh, earlier I was uh, listening Patil sir, Palit sir. So he also discussed about the trading system. And uh, I think the trade, role of trade, traders is also very important. And so many aspects. So uh, we think that... Uh, not only one uh, or two uh, points are important in this field, uh, we can find that uh, so many points, uh, so many uh, things uh, uh, which are very important and uh, uh, by which Jainism uh, get uh, a, a very speedy uh, um, um, touch in uh, Rajasthan. So I, we think uh, that we should uh, discuss over the uh, famous dynasties what are the famous dynasties in Rajasthan and what is the role of the, in those dynasties in spreading Jainism or to conserve Jainism or whatever it is. So we can say uh, in overall, uh, uh, if we study about uh, uh, their, uh, these dynasties, we find that uh, the, uh, there are so many dynasties in, in a long 2000 or before uh, um, in, in this time, but uh, uh, what happened actually there uh, is there any Jain uh, king uh, uh, in, in in the Rajasthan is it's a question for us but so we find the answer that uh, actually uh, there is no I think uh, Jain king in actual who is uh, in actual uh, a Jain and uh, ruled over in Rajasthan but uh, uh, whatever are the rulers in that time or Later on, they ruled uh, um, their uh, dynasties and uh, they give uh, a good platform to Jainism also. 
so uh, what are, what is the reason behind that uh, platform so i think uh, uh, those who were the followers of gen religion they actually not only the followers uh, verb uh, verbally of a jainism but they literally their their character or their nature was uh, according to jainism and when there is a thought of jainism in their nature or their day to day life uh, then the people or the uh, the kings and the rulers uh, uh, always uh, welcome all those scholars uh, or traders uh, or whatever they are so um overall we uh, can see in modern era that the um, area of rajasthan is uh, in miles and miles and the boundaries of uh, uh, rajasthan is touched by so many states like uttar pradesh uh, madhya pradesh uh, gujarat and uh, punjab haryana and the some portion is also connected with uh, pakistan and uh, rajasthan is known for the aravalli uh, Uh, mountains uh, but uh, overall this uh, uh, what is the effect of uh, all these uh, borders to uh, rajasthan and uh, from these areas uh, so many scholars uh, uh, all time entered in rajasthan and went to rajasthan to other states uh, so there is a transmission between uh, the rajasthan to other places and other places to rajasthan so uh, th- i think that uh, dynasties work uh, for jainism uh, is more important because they have a all time soft corner for jainism like uh, uh, when the uh, jain scholars are uh, um, have a deep uh, uh, impact on rulers in rajasthan so by the help of uh, those king uh, the uh, scholars uh, established a great libraries of uh, Uh, jain books but uh, uh, when we um, go to the libraries and when we um, uh, read and find out so many books uh, there are not only the books of jainism the main point is the books are not only of jainism but the books of other culture other subjects other topics which are not directly uh, uh, related with jainism these topics also Uh, are preserved in their libraries so later on when uh, we see the library we find that uh, so many books of uh, vivid topics are collected here and preserved here so i think not in the time of uh, uh, when um, there were not a foreigner uh, uh, who ruled in india uh, from out, outside of the india and uh, became the ruler of uh, indian society so and they also uh, in very starting they ruled over uh, india and rajasthan also and uh, they tried to manipulate the things and they tried to destroy the thing but later on after getting convinced by the local people by the uh, persons dignitaries they also um, uh, 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 they also show their interest to preserve all these things all cultures of the uh, indian society as well as of jainism also so uh, i uh, would like to say one example of uh, maharaja anup singh who was uh, uh, a ruler of bikaner or he was uh, authorized by aurangzeb but uh, by the help of uh, aurangzeb uh, he had established a anup sanskrit library in bikaner which is uh, also in this time and he collected so many Uh, styles of books uh, in his library he was also a very great scholar more important thing is this he was also a scholar so he collected all the types of books uh, in his collection and not only he he was a scholar he was a good musician so he has a deep knowledge of uh, music also so uh, such type of things uh, always helped uh, uh, us to preserve our culture and uh, uh, society or our thoughts actually so uh, we can say that the uh, things which are important for us uh, it was understood by us time by time and later we focus over uh, uh, focused over this uh, topic and this portion and we um, uh, take steps so many in this area so uh, we find 
few examples also that like Raja Mokal and his son uh, Kumbhakarna, they are the uh, very uh, true supporter of uh, Jain philosophy and uh, they built a Jain temple in Sadri, uh, Rajasthan and it is uh, also uh, quoted, by, quoted by history of Indian architecture. So uh, we can say that uh, uh, the time uh, the time when uh, people were not uh, uh, only interested to save uh, other religion uh, but they are also interested to know about the uh, philosophy of our other religions uh, so uh, in, at that time uh, all, all the scholars uh, or the um, dignity dignities uh, try to understand uh, to each other philosophy and because of this, uh, we get so many things uh, which uh, by the religious harmonyship, uh, we can get uh, this topic and the uh, present time, we can see so many temples and our culture uh, because of this only religious harmony. And uh, we can say that the, uh, time by time, the rulers uh, mm -hmm. or the, all the dy uh, dynasties uh, always try to save uh, um, all the religions, not only uh, Jainism or particular each uh, anyone, uh, but they saved so many religions uh, at whatever in that time. Uh, so uh, there is one example of 15th century that uh, uh, which the ruler of uh, Ranakpur in Rajasthan near uh, Udaipur, uh, it is called Kumbha Kalin. So uh, it is written in this um, inscription of uh, the temple that it is. Uh, made by the help of a uh, kumbha raja and uh, uh, the name of the um, businessman who invested oh, a lot of chipkane wala laya tha na wo jo chipkana hai thoda who invested it and the uh, uh, thing which is important that the name of the acharya who uh, established it by uh, in a, a ritual way so uh, like just chandra suri and devendra suri the name of som sundar suri and the, uh, the Sutra Dhar means uh, who is the main uh, key role uh, to establish that temple or to uh, establish that idea. The name of that person is Depak. So uh, it is written in Bhavnagar inscriptions. So uh, we can say that the, uh, the time of uh, Jainism is not only uh, bound in a particular time, but the time to time it is a uh, saved and conservated by so many uh, uh, peoples uh, at local level or uh, at as well as uh, um, um, uh, by the uh, portion of uh, kings they all uh, try to uh, understand the uh, philosophy of uh, it's, uh, it's and uh, uh, we get one another example there are so many examples i'm just uh, uh, saying one example that uh, in 15th century also um, there was a reconstruction of a temple. It is. It was also a Jain temple which was situated in uh, Chittor uh, and uh, the name of it is Sringar Chavri. So in the rock inscription, it is written that the Kumbha sent a very special uh, officer from his side, Sahakula, uh, and his uh, uh, son, uh, Bhandari. And uh, he uh, re-established or reconstructed the a Jain temple and uh, uh, it is uh, probably said that uh, uh, it was demolished by earlier uh, by some uh, king, but uh, uh, to uh, preserve Jainism, they reestablished. Actually, the reason of preserving uh, those uh, um, monuments is it is important because the local demand is uh, always in the mind of uh, rulers. That uh, if uh, the local people are demanding for such and such things and they have any and pain in their hearts for this uh, um, uh, all harassment. So they time to time try to save all their thoughts, so not only the temples or uh, this is not the question of uh, saving rocks and uh, uh, um, whatever is this. So they always try to save the hearts and the thoughts of the people, which is uh, very important in that time. And uh, people have religious harmony because uh, we can say that uh, when the people uh, of uh, uh, Rajasthan or the uh, all over India, from all over India, 
uh, want to vendor the places which is uh, which are pilgrimage for uh, us and uh, at that time we know very well that the, there is a tax system at that time uh, so the people when they go for pilgrimage it is also uh, that tour is also taxable so at that time to know the importance of uh, pilgrimage uh, the rulers decide to uh, tax rebate in this uh, situation so this is a soft and this happened in the case of uh, uh, arbuta chal parvat which is called mount abu delwada like such places and satrunjay uh, palitana which is uh, actually it is uh, situated in uh, Uh, Gujarat, but it has a great rel relation with uh, Rajasthan. Um, and so later we will discuss over this topic. So uh, at that time, when rulers uh, allowed to um, not collect uh, tax by the pilgrimage uh, uh, tours, so people uh, always uh, uh, respect this uh, idea, and uh, uh, we can say that the Jainism uh, has a great impact. But what is the reason? Uh, to uh, get rebit of this uh, it is important so uh, we will understand when we will discuss a uh, later uh, about the jain teachers so who are uh, said acharyas so they they has also an important role uh, so what they uh, do at that time uh, they do actually uh, what they did so uh, they actually influence all the system by their nature uh, what is the day to day lifestyle of a jain monk or of a day to day life of a layman it is very important uh, it is actually visible to each and everybody if the people is uh, living a life of jain in his own way and he is not uh, Uh, facing any such type of thing which is uh, hiddenable, uh, so uh, they all the all the things and the activity of a Jain scholars or as well as a uh, activity of a layman always all time influence peoples uh, and uh, uh, the whole high authorities. So by the help of their uh, activities, they get a, a deep influence on. Uh, society on rulers uh, and uh, because of uh, that uh, they only get such type of uh, things in the society that the tax is uh, repaid by the rulers uh, so uh, he the rulers understand at that time the what is the importance of a pilgrimage for the people and we should not uh, play with uh, their feelings so uh, we see so many things uh, about jainism uh, uh, so another point is that the uh, i said earlier that the uh, impact of uh, uh, gurus acharyas on the rajasthan or on the uh, people so this impact works all the time uh, i would like to focus one or two examples uh, in uh, in 18th century there is a seth diwan amar chand ji so he actually a great follower of jainism and that time he was also the courtier of the uh, kingdom so but uh, so many people are um, not interested in the uh, uh, said amar chand diwan so they always try to um, back biting uh, about him so uh, later on once uh, it happened that uh, he was uh, um, everybody knows that uh, he was a follower of jainism but uh, once uh, the king of uh, is uh, uh, rajasthan uh, jaipur offered him to come with me and i am going for hunting so uh, why don't you join us so he said uh, uh, he think he thought at that time that uh, if i will not go then there is the overrule of a uh, king's uh, order and if i go it is it means i am uh, uh, supporting the violence <coughs> so at that time uh, uh, without hesitation uh, but uh, uh, he has some um, thoughts in mind so he went uh, uh, with uh, king uh, in the forest and uh, for a long time uh, uh, for many hours uh, king did not get any animal in the 
a forest and that uh, what happened he saw few deers in the forest and he uh, rushed to those uh, deers uh, very speedily by the help of horse and, and uh, said amarchand divan is also following that time so but he, he was unable to get those deers to shot dead so at that time when uh, 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 Amar Chand Se Divan is uh, seeing all this thing. He was a very uh, painful situation, so he uh, asked in a very loud way that uh, please uh, do, uh, please all animals stop here. When the hunter is the when the saver is your hunter, then why are you trying to running away? So uh, by chance it happened that uh, uh, listening those words or whatever happened at that time. The, Uh, the deers uh, and the other animals stopped uh, at their place uh, and uh, uh, the king was saw all these things so he astonished with this uh, by seeing this uh, miracle and uh, he is uh, thinking uh, what happened uh, i was trying to uh, pursuing all these uh, uh, animals but uh, they were not followed by me particularly properly but uh, uh, what happened he said something and they all are stopped so uh, he understood the message of said the uh, amar chand that uh, he is saying that uh, i am a saver of all this uh, reason and how can i beat or hunt uh, all these animals so this message uh, actually influenced the king very deeply and there are so many examples in the history when people uh, influence uh, their rulers uh, their circumstance uh, and uh, uh, they established a role that in, uh, jainism is also important it has something by which jainism is uh, uh, in uh, this time also so uh, we find so many so like uh, so many uh, dynasties there is a dynasties of acharya gurus of jain acharyas who influence all the uh, all time people of their uh, era like uh, khartar gach we will discuss it here few of the topics and uh, uh, examples of khartar gach that uh, uh, acharya som sundar suri a, a jain monk and muni sundar and some others <laughs> like that a long chain for this uh, um, it is here so they uh, have a great impact of uh, their reason uh, which is uh, uh, the time of raja kumbha and uh, raja by the help of raja kumbha they built uh, so many temples uh, in that area and the all the maintenance of the temples is uh, uh, established by the uh, kumbha raja kumbha so and not only the raja kumbha his son and the other and other uh, next lineage of the king always try to uh, save uh, jainism in his area actually he is not saving jainism actually he is uh, they were uh, saving the ideas of jainism which is also very practical for their uh, life and they understood uh, the uh, miracle of that uh, religion and the practicalness uh, of that uh, uh, religion so they could be able to uh, uh, take a, a loop between both uh, the local mentality of the people and the uh, mentality of uh, a jain philosopher so they tried so uh, later we uh, see that the raja Ra- rana rajmal who is the uh, uh, son of uh, and the uh, next to rana kumbha he also uh, did a lot of thing for jainism and in 1499 uh, ad in near uh, udaipur there is a inscription uh, in which it is written that the raja rai mal built a temple and st- established a statue of mahavir as well as ambika in the temple so uh, we find so many uh, examples in the uh, history and uh, uh, we saw that the there is not only uh, the things Uh, which are important but also the things about literary contribution is also important so literary contribution we can say that uh, uh, there is two parts of literary contribution first part is uh, where uh, 
the literature is written in Rajasthan and the second part is the people of Rajasthan uh, are connected with Rajasthan and went to, uh, to other places and established Jainism. So there are two points of view for this discussion. So uh, we find uh, uh, few examples like uh, Jambudvi Pragyapti. It is written by Achari Padmanandi in 10th century at the place Bara, which is near Kota. And another important text, uh, which is uh, uh, very known to all scholars, Kovalaya Mala of Uddyotan Suri. It is written in Jal Jalor 8th century. So it, it is a uh, Kovalaya Mala is a very important uh, book. In, in this book, uh, we find the culture uh, and the nature of people and the society's uh, uh, nature and uh, so many languages uh, uh, introduction in this uh, uh, book is given. So Kuvalaya Mala is overall a brief history uh, with very deep full thought of uh, India in which we find so many things about uh, Indian culture. So it is important to uh, understand Indian culture as well as because the writer uh, is from uh, also Rajasthan. So he uh, wrote in more than 18, uh, he divided 18 uh, states uh, and uh, he said everything about uh, 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 18 states that what is the uh, dress up uh, dressing system of those 18 places what is the language of uh, those places what is the uh, other uh, things of those places so he wrote each and everything and like that uh, uh, Guru Guru Ratnakar Kabi is written by Soom Charitra Gani in 1541 so he is also related uh, with uh, uh, Rajasthan and uh, uh, we find uh, if we uh, we talk about the inscription, so we find uh, the first inscription of uh, uh, Prakrit language, and we can say it is also the first uh, of uh, I think of India because uh, Badli Silalik, which is uh, situated near Ajmer, and now it is in the Museum of Ajmer and Majim, like something the name of. Uh, uh, the village where it is found. So it is written here, Veer Samvat 84, means the departure of uh, uh, Lord Mahavir uh, after 84 years, it was established there by somebody. So, uh, but it is uh, actually related, directly related to Jainism and is saying about the Jainism, what is the history of Jainism, how much uh, historical religion is this? So all this, and it's the leapy of uh, uh, is of uh, uh, that Badli Salalik is Brahmi Lipi and uh, at that time the famous scholar of uh, uh, history and uh, art Godsankar Ocha uh, introduced to us uh, this uh, Salalik uh, inscription and uh, uh, later we find that they, there are so many inscriptions the trade of uh, inscriptions uh, is very important because uh, uh, what are we doing if it is not written or um, noticed by us uh, later who will understand that or who made it and what is the uh, reason to make this uh, uh, thing. So people always uh, try to establish his inscription with their uh, work, but time by time when the things were the temples or the anything, the uh, books or the literature is ruined by the uh, uh, people. So, so they also ruined the uh, Evidences, the more evidences was uh, at that time the inscription. Because uh, uh, after 2000 years, 4000 years, we can get uh, a stone uh, uh, in a good situation, but not uh, a book uh, or uh, which is written on uh, manuscripts uh, or uh, any other thing. So, this is the most appropriate thing to save uh, history. Uh, in a, uh, in this way, so they try to uh, uh, or they always try to uh, write down all the things on the inscriptions, and few of them we got uh, those things. So uh, we think the word who actually uh, thought of all these ideas and whose ideas. So actually, uh, we find that the famous teachers of that time. Uh, and the uh, famous rulers of that time always tried to uh, uh, think in a different way by which they can preserve uh, any thoughts. So, so famous teachers and uh, teachers, we uh, say that uh, uh, the famous teachers like uh, Haribhadra Suri, 
Haribasuri of 8th, 9th century, and he was from uh, Rajasthan, basically from Chittorgarh, and he was the um, royal priest also. Uh, so uh, the king has a deep faith on him, and he was a great uh, scholar of his time, and it is said uh, that 1444 books were written by Hari Bhadra Suri means each and every topic is touched by this scholar. And we find so many, I think near about 40, 50 books we find in present time. Uh, and there uh, is, a, if it is a, the topic of yoga, we have books. If it is, it is the topic of Alankar or uh, language or uh, philosophy. So we find so many things about uh, uh, Jainism. And the, the contribution goes to Hari Bhadra Suri, and he has a deep impact on all time. And not only he is a famous in Rajasthan, but all, but all over the world, even Swetambar uh, sect is uh, uh, known for Acharya Hari Bhadra Suri. So uh, he has an important role, and so many books like uh, uh, he wrote a book, Samurai Chikaha. So Samurai Chikaha. Uh, is an important book uh, in which we find the reincarnation depiction and the karma theory because uh, in the uh, Indian culture and basically in Jainism, uh, the theory of karma is very important. And uh, the story is about two persons uh, who are uh, actually in two different ways that they have two different religions and they, they are uh, follower of two different religions. So, but uh, because of following their uh, religion in different way, they have uh, some uh, issues, uh, misconception between, but the one is uh, uh, reacting in a very uh, mild way and the another one is uh, reacting in a very uh, aggressive way. So what happened in their one uh, birth and in their next birth and later, so there is a discussion of 10th, uh, 10 uh, birth and they find that uh, uh, what uh, is the result of uh, the thought of a person so he goes to hell or he get uh, um, uh, emancipation or anything so uh, these are things are discussed in this book and uh, in other books are written by uh, Hari Bhadra Suri like uh, um, uh, Kuk uh, 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 another book and so I think there are the time uh, of uh, uh, Haribat Suri, uh, later on we can say that Acharya Virsin is also a very great scholar from, he is also from Chittor. So uh, we find that the Chittor is a place where and the Jainism, um, either uh, the, it is related with the Shvetambar text sect, either it is related with the Digambar text, both have uh, a great uh, impact on uh, Chittor and Ch Ch by the help of Acharya Veer Sen, he wrote uh, the most important uh, book uh, is uh, here, uh, it is uh, Dhavla. So Dhavla is based on Shat Khandagam and it is the uh, uh, commentary on uh, Shat Khandagam. So it was written in 72,000 shlokes and uh, uh, he uh, later on he wrote uh, uh, also Jay Dhavla's uh, commentary, but uh, in, in between this uh, work, he died and his student uh, uh, finalized this uh, his work. So uh, he was also a great scholar and his contribution to Rajasthan uh, uh, is very important factor. And uh, like that, Acharya Padmanandi, whose famous book we uh, many times uh, uh, see that uh, Padmanandi Panch Vinshatika, and another book uh, I earlier uh, said that the Jambudvi Pranati and uh, in which uh, there's the thought of Jainism, uh, what is the Jainism uh, concept about uh, the world. So the concept of world is uh, given here and especially the Jambudvi, uh, it actually uh, according to Jainism, we are living in uh, India and India is a part of uh, Jambudweep and Jambudweep is a very big place uh, and uh, I, we can say uh, like a piece of rice uh, if we put on a very big carpet the, the same situation is with uh, a, a modern uh, India so this is the concept of a uh, Jain scholars so it is uh, written by Acharya Padmanandi so he is also from uh, Bara Mewar Rajasthan and another one book is Dhamma Rasayan 
so he discussed so many things about jainism and uh, there are only few books which i am quoting here and so many books so there is a uh, long list of scholars uh, who worked in rajasthan uh, who from actually is uh, rajasthan and who uh, were uh, uh, invited in rajasthan to work uh, and they worked here very well like dhaneshwar suri uh, whose uh, book is sur sundari charyam he wrote it uh, in abu and durg dev he is a very famous scholar who wrote on the <coughs> who wrote on uh, the concept of death the, the signings of death so what should be a, a, a symptom of a people who is a, a near to death so he wrote on uh, such topics in kumbh nagar bharatpur which is uh, also said kamain uh, ancient time so buddhi sagar uh, is a also famous acharya who wrote uh, his book uh, uh, panch granthi and also a vyakaran whose name is also buddhi sagar vyakaran and it was quoted by acharya hemchandra sori in his uh, uh, book siddh hem sabdanushasan he also he was also from jalor and uh, so many books kavi dhanpal i think is an important uh, थैंकफुल फॉर द सेठी जी and uh, all the team uh, especially jokshri ma'am and the other scholars uh, who invited me to present my uh, um, topic uh, jainism in rajasthan so i tried to, uh, in some aspects uh, and thanks for the uh, opportunity thank you so much anand ji for giving us such a interesting topic rajasthan have always been a uh, center of cultures and it it always fascinates about its cultural and religious history sorry as we are running short of time now i would like to invite our guest of honor dr rakesh tiwari ji to say few words about our speakers rakesh sir Can you hear us, sir? Unmute yourself, sir. Rakesh, sir. Rakesh, yeah. sir. Yes, Now, yes. Am I audible? Can you hear me? Ji, yeah, आपके आवाज आ रही है बोलिए. Okay. First of all, I would extend my thanks to Honorable Sethi ji for providing me this uh, opportunity to be rewarded by two excellent papers. Uh, delivered by uh, uh, lectures delivered by professor palit and dr anand on uh, the jain uh, antiquities from the bengal bangladesh besides the philosophical aspects of rajasthan uh, i would uh, just thank extend my thanks to both the scholars and would like to emphasize on two things one is that specific projects may be taken mm. to explore the unexplored areas of whole of south asia apart from that south uh, southeast asia and central asia the route which was being discussed by professor palit through arakan hills is the easiest way through bengal towards myanmar and south east asia and other routes are also through assam which are across the hills north eastern hills to south east south uh, uh, china and myanmar so these routes may be explored afresh with a specific focus to underline what what jain evidence may be found along those routes though we have information through the the earlier works and uh, the collections from museums and so on and professor palit has already underlined them but this land route is very important 
because there were two routes, maritime routes, and the second one is the land route. A land route is more important because they must be having some halting places from cities where they were trading. They would have been uh, would be having some religious centers also, and the traders must have contributed a lot in the Jain establishments along these routes. So my specific request to Satiji would be to have focused expeditions along these ancient routes. Thank you. Thank you so much for your suggestion, sir. And now I would like to request our uh, Honorable President of uh, National President of uh, All India Digambar Jain Heritage Preservation Organization, Sri Nirmal Kumar Jain Ji, to say a few words about our speakers. Yes, <laughs> respected Tiwari Ji, uh, Pali Ji, Aranji, or all the members present here. There are many. Our Rajkumar Sethi. There are many people. Party is our president uh, of uh, Assam Mahasabha, and uh, there are also Ravi Medotkar Ji, uh, Bhakti Ji Bhaskar, and Yatish Ji from Jabalpur, and Pratham uh, Kumara, and uh, Vijay Kumar Ji, Jain from Sagar, IP Jain from Jaipur. And uh, there is Renu Jain, he's also from our, uh, from Indore. There are many people here. So I thank you first, uh, Mr. Palit, for giving such a, and with so many uh, datas, you have taken so much trouble to collect those datas. I am very much thankful. And you have collected so much photographs from all over the world. So this is a great thing for us. And uh, Mr. Palit, uh, we will we will cooperate with you. We will cooperate with you in your research work. So you, you hear me? No? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, so we will give you full cooperation, sir, Paliji. And uh, you can do some research work, whatever you like. And uh, uh, we will uh, be very thankful to you if you do some research work. And if you can also engage some of your students to do research work, uh, we will can again give them a scholarship also. And if you want to make a visit to Minar or any place, we will plan that for you also. And uh, for Mr. Aranji, thank you very much for giving so Rajasthan University, Rajasthan in relation with Jainism, you see, we have very big uh, one library at Nagor. Mm. Whether you have visited that or not, but uh, that is, that was a Bhattara uh, Gaddi in Nagor, and they have collected lot of lot of uh, literature is with them yes, uh, in yes. Nagor. Lot of literature with them in Nagor, and. Uh, uh, that has not been yet fully uh, explored and for, uh, even a, no research work has been done. Although our mm -hmm. professor P.C. Jain was there for many years and our Kastuchinji Kastewal has also done work there, but it's still to be done, a lot of work. But uh, you have given very good uh, uh, details about Rajasthan uh, related with Jainism, uh, very good. And if you also want to do some research work, please contact us. We will try to help you as much as possible. And uh, all the uh, people who are hearing us, we thank you very much. And particularly our Bhakshi Ji Bhaskar, such an old man, but he has given full time to us. Bhaskar Ji and Vijay Kumar Ji from Sagar and all other people who have given us so much time uh, in this. And I must, above all, I must thank Rakesh Ji, Tiwari Ji for joining us. <laughs> Because it was my wish. Whatever he has told me just now, he is planning to do his uh, the research work. So I have already promised to him that I will cooperate with you. And uh, when you do this uh, research in uh, uh, your Tibet or China or wherever you want to go, 
is to find the silk route. So we will cooperate with you. That word is still stands. And with all these words, I uh, thank you all. Mr. Kapoorchan Jain, if you want to speak, please speak. Kapoorchan Ji, if you want to speak, you can speak. <coughs> So we can't hear you. Yes. Sir, so can't hear you. Kapoor, sir, unmute yourself. Sir, uh -huh. unmute your mic, sir. जी हो गए हैं बात कीजिए आप जी अनमिट हो गए हैं आप यस सर बोली कपूर चली आप बोल सकते हैं आप अनमिट हैं अभी नहीं हो रहा Uh, I think there is some technical problem with this mic. So, if anybody wants to ask any questions, so there's there's a time. So, is there any question anyone wants to ask? Thanks, sir. We're done. Okay. So, uh, sir, uh, madam, I just asked to uh, some uh, to sub Rakesh sir. Rakesh Tiwari. I am Professor Projit Pali. Projit sir, ha, Projit sir. Yes, Projit sir, boliye, boliye. Yes, sir. Uh, I actually, uh, sir, Rakesh sir, sir, Doctor Tiwari, sir. Yes, I met him you and uh, when you were uh, you were in uh, Uttar Pradesh, UP, State Archaeology. And uh, sir, actually, I know uh, your work actually trade route. So I need your support because I. Uh, uh, that's also how, how uh, actually now you where are you I don't know <laughs> because which place I need your email number and uh, phone number. I will I will okay. certainly extend you my number and uh, you are very welcome. Actually, I have uh, followed this route in Bangladesh also up to the Arakan Hills, uh, up I to the border of Myanmar, and I feel that uh, focused work and. Deep study is required on that route. Another route is uh, through uh, Bangladesh to Tripura region. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Third, one, is... third one, which follows to the to the Brahmaputra and goes to the wow. Lohit and Jisrashram Kund, and from there, from the old Burma route, it connects the Bhamo, which is a very early site in North Myanmar, and that connects the South China, uh, known to as the Yunnan Province, China. But yes, the, the second one, in the middle one, which is uh, now the open route to Mandalay through uh, this uh, Manipur. So that is also very important a route which may be followed. And a scholar like you and a few more who have some enthusiasm and focused uh, objectives, it may reveal very important evidence. Not only to the Jain, Jain uh, uh, antiquities related to, but many other aspects may also be open. So, whatever help I can extend to you, you are very welcome. I will very happily extend to you. 
Thank you, sir. Ajit sir, I'll share the contact details uh, of Rakesh, Rakesh sir with you. As uh, as I said that we are running short of time, so before okay, we... Sir. Okay, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank sure, you. I will uh, share it with you, sir. All the contact details of Rakesh, sir. And before we sign out from our meeting, I would like to thank a few people uh, who has helped us today in our webinar. Firstly, I would like to thank Dr. Arihant Kumar Jain for Mangla Charan, our honorable guest of honor, Dr. Rakesh Tiwari ji for sparing his valuable time for us, our respected speakers, Dr. Projit Kumar Palit sir and Dr. Anand Kumar Jain sir for giving us a valuable and informative lecture, uh, Jainam Channel, and our secretary, Mrs. Neetu Janji, for all the support for today's webinar. So thank you so much and hope to see you all on next Sunday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Jai Jinen Sabko. Jai Jinen to all.